as he kind of gets into position. All right. I'm not so... All right. Now, I think I'm fairly satisfied with the overall. All right. Let's set up our camera. Okay. So this is going to start right here, I suppose. So let's add a marker right there. Okay, now instead of adding a new camera, let's just use the one we've already got. So let's go back to that original camera, which would be, let's go into first off into camera view. All right, so this is where we started. Okay, so let's review. What, what do we have going on? That spin action. Eyes. Oh, let me unhide the chevron. All right. Spin action. Eyes. Chevron lock on. Now, at this point, we need to change our camera again. Okay, but let's change it back to this camera. So I'm going to select this camera, and now I want to lock it into its position right here. Now it's selected. All right, notice how the camera moved. It went bam, and now I'm going to lock it into position. Now it doesn't matter because the other camera is active, so this camera is, is not being anywhere. So now I've got all the way between these two markers to move this camera wherever I want it to be. And so I'm going to get it to right here, and now... Well, no, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it into position at this point in time. And so let's switch to camera, whatever, that other camera, all right? And now where do I want this camera to be? somewhere in this range alright so let's now notice how I inserted a key kinda in the middle here and now let's move that key into the other marker section so the camera moves this original camera moves while the other camera is active so it's it, you never see it alright so now let's get to this marker and let's switch cameras so we go to our cam let's let's see that marker is on frame 103 as you can tell right there um, let's switch our camera to camera 1 that camera is selected. Let's press Control B down here in the timeline. Get our marker to the timeline. Press Control B. I have just bound that camera to the marker. All right, so let's see if it worked. All right, so we start off. Twirl. Bam. Bam. Okay. And now right about here, I want to start zooming in. So I'm going to insert. And now the question is, do I want to zoom in? Like, do I want to dolly? Like, in, do I want to bring in my camera closer? Do I want to actually move my camera closer? I think that's what I want to do. That's the easiest. The other way to do it would be to... Um, would be to to actually insert keyframes for the focal length which you can do if I were to press I that would insert a keyframe but and I'll show you how to do that eventually probably but not right now because I think I'd rather do a dolly I think that's what they call it where you pan in and now I'm not sure if I like this I'm just taking a look here click You, I, need, I think I just need to move that keyframe a little bit over. All right, that's that's okay. All right, it works. Now let's do a tween. So we pose to pose. We find our extreme poses, and then we get somewhere in between. Now right about here, I think I would like to, I don't know, just animate it somewhere. You don't necessarily want just a straight track. Now this might be too extreme, I don't know, let's just see what happens. Okay, we are ready to go. Alright, and now I'm going to extend this a little bit, I'm going to press the E key, and so that will be the final length of this, this action. 
Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we are going to animate, have the barrel start turning right about now. The barrels are going to start rotating. So the barrels are going to be rotating now. And now you don't just want the cam. I don't know if the camera, if whether having the camera fi finish just being stable, it probably won't finish stable. What will probably happen is here. I'll just do that. I'm going to move it a little bit more like this, something like that. All right. Let's see how that looks. Ah, uh, that looked awful. I'll have to tweak that camera motion a little bit. Let's just look at what happens to the camera from here. All right, you can see how it's 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 motion is really crappy. All right, so let's look at what happens. All right, it moves closer and then it just moves straight on and then it moves basically just sideways so here's what I want to do I'm just gonna get rid of this stupid pose right there let's just delete that okay and that'll bring it kinda more let's see what that did let's just see what that did alright so now rotation starts okay and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow down that last bit of motion. You kind of, since I kind of want the camera to be always moving, but it gets subtle towards the end. You just want subtle motion. So I'm going to, because I'm going to need some time to uh, to start the the barrels rotating, and then to get a nice, uh, you know, explosion from the bullet coming out of the shell or coming out of the chamber. I'm just slow. I'm just extending it, giving myself a little bit more time to work with. Okay. Barrel start rotating. Ready for a shot. All right. It'll have to be even longer. Okay. All right. But I think that's good. I've pretty much got myself blocked off. I might have to do some tweaking a little bit later.